Hello! Easter again in it. And you know what? Each year these themed specials get harder and harder, as 99p stores and Poundland etc tend to get the same stuff in year after year. But not with Easter this year. This year there was so much new stuff between them, and added to the stuff sent in by the audience, that I've in fact got pretty much half the stuff I would need for next year's Easter special as well, which is fantastic. And I shall be putting that to one side in case it's slim pickings in the shops again come next Easter. But it's this Easter we're worrying about, and we better make the place look more Eastery. And we can start with four bunny and chick glitter eggs. Oh, you see, they're ideal for decorating, it says so. Also it says Happy Easter, as if these will make anybody happy. Yep, basically they've got four styrofoam eggs and they've stuck some glitter on them and stuck a bit of foam on, so they look like ch chicks and bunnies. Let's have a look at the chick first. Come on, how do you come from your plastic cage? Don't bite anyone, you'll have to go back in, what the fuck are you? I mean, yeah, right, well we... that sort of a crest and eyes... that... that... misplaced hyphen is a beak, okay. It's got an X on it, presumably that's so hunters can shoot it more easily. And it's got little uh, webbed feet and, you know, just like chickens don't. And uh, presumably they're wings. Again, they look just look like more feet, which is a bit of a worry. And yeah, okay, we can see it looks just enough like a chick. A particularly crap chick, it must be said, but a chick nonetheless. The bunnies I'm not so convinced of. In fact, I didn't know what they were until I saw it was supposed to be a carrot on it, although it could be some sort of military hardware. And indeed it does say bunny on the box. So, here's the thing, lads. You ever seen a rabbit? Because I don't think you have. You see, rabbits have virtually nothing in common with this whatsoever. This has got some sort of weird tongue crest, two eyes on the front of the head, a cube, weird arms, um, sort of webbed feet, and a carrot. This bears absolutely no resemblance to a frickin' rabbit whatsoever. You know they have, like, two ears? and eyes on the side of their head, and are basically not this. Deary me. And look, there's another two, just in case. Oh my god, I've just noticed something quickly. Come out, extra bunny. This one's actually crying, look. It could be too much glue, but I like to think that it's crying and covered in angel hair or something. Okay, this is getting weird now. Go over there, and we're going to get some better rabbit-shaped things in. Look! Look, everyone, the six sequin bunnies. I shall name them all now. Jeffy, Heffy, Other Jeffy, Other Heffy, Petula, and <coughs> He's a hard one to pronounce. Um, yeah. Anyone notice the problem here? Anybody seen the human centipede? Yep, this is stage three. Or maybe the prototype, where they started off with rabbits. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to want these around the house. Not just because, uh, well, indeed, they look grotesque and like they've had their mouths stitched to the anus of the one in front of them, but they're covered in these stupid, horrible little bubbles which will fall off and stick on absolutely everything. In fact, I'm not even going to open the packet because I can't be bothered to clear it up later. Also, that one's got a burn mark on it, or just filth. Oh, come on, lads. You're not trying. You know it's not good if you spent a pound on something, you still feel ripped off. Anyway, Easter tradition. Crappy marshmallow sweets. And this year, we've got sour marshmallow chicks and bunnies. Yep, the chicks and bunnies motif is repeating. Sour marshmallow? I'm not exactly looking forward to this. And just look at the poor bastards. Oh, I should not exist. Kill me. Kill me. Why am I green? I look relatively normal, although my eyes are falling off. Yes, these are the joys that can be had from just a pound. 25p each. Good grief. What can you learn from the hat? Uh, it's full of sugars and imported by Greenbrier International, just like so many of these things. Um, this is grotesque. Um, poor rabbit. Poor rabbit. Let, let's have a moment's silence for the rabbit. Let's not, because it's dead air. Right. Sour marshmallow. I'm not sure how that works, other than very... Oh my god, they're even worse when you take them out. That one's guts are hanging out. Are they supposed to be its feet? I don't know. And they're like wearing cashmere jumpers. What is this, the Ed Wood edition or something? I don't know what's going on. I don't want to eat that one, because that's in enough trouble already. I'm going to go for the radioactive chick. I think... No, I'm not. I'm going to go for this one. Because, well, it's the most normal looking. And I'm using that term very loosely. Right, I'm going to bite your ears off, mate. Bear with us. Okay. 
just marshmallow. Ah, the sugary stuff it's coated with has a vague sour hit to it. And I do mean vague. It took a lot of time to kick in and isn't very strong. But what is quite impressive is that the sour taste is mixing with the cheap marshmallow taste and making something absolutely mind-numbingly rancid. It really doesn't go together at all and is frickin' disgusting. <sighs> Punishment. Oh god, I regret doing that already. <laughs> yeah, you can go over there and never be eaten by me again. Oh, dearie me. Right, time for some proper marshmallow. Somebody sent me some peeps. I've never had peeps. These are like an American thing that look like a sort of melting chicken or something. And mostly I've only seen people put them in the microwave on YouTube. But these are vanilla cream flavoured marshmallow. As opposed to being marshmallow flavoured, presumably, the normal ones are. Limited edition. It looks like a white poo with bits in it. Yes, peeps. I've always wanted to try these. I'm genuinely interested to see how these come out. Presumably these are some sort of Easter edition thing. At least that's what I'm pretending, because I'm using them in an Easter special. Also, I can't open the bloody packet. Hang on. Use me teeth. Aha. Victory. Right. You will do, brother. Oh, they're nice and soft. Unlike the nasty, cheapy Poundland ones. Smell very strongly of vanilla. Very strong. That really is. They just dollop something on a conveyor belt and then stick eyes on it, isn't it? Not complaining. It's interesting enough. And ooh, it looks like it's got shards of glass in it. That's not a good look for a food stuff, guys. Oh, well, what do they taste like? Hmm. Oh, incredibly light. I was expecting it to be much denser. Americans are watching these and probably eating a million of these. And are thinking this is a bit weird, but yeah. Yes, well, right, actually. Taste of vanilla cream. What would you expect? It's a quality make. This is how it's done. Please leave me alone. Never. Right. I'm going to have another bite of that. Yeah, that'll do. And come in with some more foodstuffs, because I've got quite a few, and they probably won't keep till next year. Particularly this one. Cookie with jelly drops. I may have had this for something like two years. Somebody sent it to me a very long time ago. And it's been sitting on a desk under something, and I found it the other day, just in time for Easter. Cookie with jelly drops. Now, the scene at the top looks exactly like the bonus level from Diablo 3. Anyway, the cloud is attempting to placate us because this has apparently Easter eggs and multicoloured eyeballs in it. This is some sort of Lovecraftian cookie biscuit. Shub niggerath in food form. Mm -mm -mm. I'm genuinely frightened to eat it because it's probably years out of date. Um, but it doesn't have a date on it. That's the same as being in date, isn't it? No. Shut up. Go on then. <clears throat> ah. I hope it's not actually got things growing on it, like you know, spiders or uh, horses. I can't get this open. This is really irritating. I've had a lot of problems actually with the um, packaging this year. Everything seems to be incredibly hard to open. Right. Ah. That's better. People with headphones can no longer be deaf. Oh, it's got more plastic around it. Your guarantee of quality. I'm quite glad, actually, given his age. And no, I can't get it off. This stuff's incredibly thick. Right, where's my knife? Hang on. We came prepared with slashers. Right, there we are. Cookie biscuit a go go. Oh, so these are sort of jelly things, but they're rock hard, maybe because they're old. These are candy eyeballs. How does that work? What's that got to do with Easter? It is grotesque, isn't it? It's something you see in your dream and then you never wake up. And yet, you never die either. Right, I'm going to take a bite and deeply regret it. Oh god. Oh god. Mm. Why did I take such a big bite? Um, yeah. Nasty, cheap biscuit of the worst sort imaginable. Oh, the um, jelly thing wasn't very nice, and this yellow stuff has frankly gone off. Nope. Think about it, this has been sitting on a desk for like two years or something. Why the hell did I take a bite? What is wrong with me? Oh. Well, I wouldn't be recommending that, even if it was fresh, frankly. It tasted cheap and horrible. Although, interestingly, the uh, green thing on there did taste quite strongly of apple. So uh, they've got something right. Maybe it's a lot better if it's not bloody out of date. Quickly, something to take the taste away. Fluffy stuff, cotton tails. Yep, it's cotton candy, I imagine, or candy floss, as I think everybody else calls it. From a company I was about to call Harms. <laughs> Realised it's Charms. <laughs> Can you imagine making a sweet company called Harms? Free inside every packet, razor blades. And look, here's some cool rabbits. Look, one's got shades. 
Go on, eat my ass. Products may change shape and colour during packaging. What the fuck? May change shape and colour during packaging? Am I going to open this and it's just full of spiders or something? Bloody hell. All this blurb on the back. The 1893 World's Fair in Chicago introduced America to a sweet new sensation, cotton candy. The product was an immediate hit, but because it was packaged in a cupboard... I don't care. Mm, not from the same company as ever. Right. These must be fine. I think they're within date. It's just going to be some sort of... Oh. Oh. What? They're not lying about it changing shape during packaging. So you open up expecting these jolly things, they've just been crushed beyond all recognition. I'll tell you what this is. This is frickin' lint you get out of your tumble dryer. I don't know what they've been drying. Very brightly coloured. Oh, it even feels like lint. Oh, it doesn't feel very much like um, candy floss. Although I suppose that's because it's all been crushed up, isn't it? Well, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Mm. Sugar with some sort of weird attempt at flavouring, just sort of chemical, really. Mm, not convinced by that. Not convinced by that at all, my friends. Does it say what flavour it's supposed to be? No, it doesn't. It doesn't mention it anywhere. It says a fat-free candy. Yeah, because pure sugar is fat-free, isn't it? Um, no, I've got no idea. Natural and artificial. Ah, this bag contains one or more of five assorted flavours. So I don't even know what they're putting in the bags. Thanks, guys. That's Easter made for everybody. Time for a bit of an arts and crafts to take our mouths off their imminent taste bud death. Colour your own rabbit. You colour your own rabbit, cheeky fucker. Right. Happy Easter. There's some pens and there's a cardboard rabbit. How does this work? Contains rabbit shape. Great. Six felt tip pens, felt shapes, and ribbon. Ooh. And, ah, uh, oh, look at this. It's like the world's worst soft toy. This is what you give to orphans if you're rich and you hate them. Fantastic. Um, here's some felt shapes to stick on it to make its waistcoat and stuff, I suppose. We don't care about that. We just want to colour it using our own magic brain creativity. Here's all the colours you need for a rabbit that have stayed in the package for some reason and are probably getting ink everywhere. Tremendous. Um, as you are no doubt aware, rabbits are mostly blue and yellow, so uh, yeah, that's great. I like this brown one. It's actually a vaguely rabbity colour. Although I've got to say, it's not the most rabbity looking rabbit. OK, I'm going to decorate it now, ready for Easter. Jump cut. And here we go, that's what Easter means to me. Um, if you actually hazarded a guess as to how many of the felt tip pens had basically gone dry or run out, and you guessed all of them, then well done! You were correct. Every single one of those felt tips was dry and useless, hence why you can barely read what I've written on Mr Rabbity here. Very, very poor. I only bought it the other bloody week. You know, looking at this, it's still not quite Easter, is it? Ah, there we go. Now it's Easter. Right. Something of a tradition started last year are weird animals. Electric toy animals that you put batteries in and shriek and make noises. Last year we had the goose, which frankly still terrifies me and has to live in a special lead-lined box. This year... Wait for it. Tenuous link to Easter. It's Naughty Animal. New generation. The big ray, big rolling ball will send out dazzling ray of light. Oh, I look forward to meeting him. Yes, there's sort of a drugged up hypnotised bear with its big swirliness there. Or it could be a different colour. Run, bump and go. Light, rotary light. Yes, run is what you should probably do when you turn these on if this is anything I know of. Oh, weird safety stuff. The product contains mini parts. What? Parts of an actual car? That's bizarre. And prevent the children from eating them. Why do the parts actually prevent children from eating them themselves? That's an amazing use of technology. So basically, you've got a big face and a little face, and a Pac-Man choking on a black sugar cube. Fair enough. That works for me. Oh god, there's a Winnie the Pooh face. This is a multifunction... <coughs> Can you say parapraxis? This is a multifunctional, lovely, small animal, features flashing light, wonderful music, and rotating colour ball. It will let you kids grow up happily, raise their curiosity, and bring them endless pleasure with its green legs. Fair enough. It can also be pink. And it can also be another weird Winnie the Pooh. Flashing light, funny action, musical bump and go, battery operated. Marvellous. If I recall, this is the Winnie the Pooh version, and I haven't looked at it for a while, and I hope the batteries still work. Come and play with us, naughty animal! Yeah, that's not a bit creepy at all, is it? 
Can I have a feeling we've had a lot of things made today from people who don't know what animals bloody look like? What the hell is up with that tail? It looks like it's leaking something from its anus. Ooh, there's an image for you. Happy time! Yep, and that's probably not what we're going to have when I switch it on. Defend your eardrums, gentlemen. Abraca bloody dabra indeed. Let's hope that hasn't set off any copyright alarms. Um, yeah, the weirdest thing about this that I didn't notice before actually, look at the ears. Oh god, I can't run the switch. It's like a police car! Imagine if police drove these, or these were like robot police, speeding along the road, suddenly coming up in the rear view mirror. You'd pull over and give up your life of crime immediately, wouldn't you? And then it'd probably eat your fucking face or something. Anyway, we better see how this runs on the floor then, hadn't we? Ah, classic naughty animal. It doesn't quite live up to the horror that uh, the goose brought us last year, but it makes up for it in no way whatsoever. So, last thing on the agenda, some more rabbits that don't look like frickin' rabbits. Seriously, guys, is there somebody out there with a rabbit who can tour the places that design these things and show them what one looks like? It's 12... Bunny, but bur, bur, 12 Bernie, bur, Bunny. nope, I think it is a U. 12 Bunny Decorations. Happy Easter. Ideal for decorating. Of course they're ideal for decorating. They're fucking decorations, mate. Come on, give us some credit. Who actually made these, I wonder? Um, oh, generic sort of 99 P-Stores postcode, I think. Fair enough. Well, you do get 12 for your pound, and here they all are, glued to a bit of cardboard. Right, it's got ears, that's something. However, rabbits don't just have a single red mouth, through which presumably they spew poison like some sort of Dark Souls enemy. They don't have a corsage on their heads, and they don't have a single three-toed foot. This is really very, very strange, even by the standards of those people. Although, come to think of it, it's still a lot better than Egbert we had earlier, isn't it? Where is he? Oh, I can't find any of them. Oh my god, don't tell me they've escaped! Dun dun dun! I genuinely can't find them, that's really worrying. I only found the chicken ones. Ugh. Oh well, I'm gonna have to call the police tonight again, aren't I? Yep, they've escaped again, lads. Well, I think there's only one more thing to do to complete our Easter. You know what that is, don't you? No, not that. Jesus, what's wrong with you? Just noticed, its eyes are tubes. It's not a phrase I ever thought I'd say.